Hello guys, this is a part two for the condition to apply for the U.S. citizenship. Uh, there are many, and I'm trying to mention one per clip. And this is a knowledge of civics, knowledge of civics and history. So you have to be tested on knowledge of civics, U.S. civics. You have to understand. So they give you like open test question. They provide you uh, a material to read. They will provide you a, a number of questions, a hundred questions. And from a hundred questions, they're going to ask you 10 questions. I think you have to pass uh, six of them, six of 10, in order to pass the uh, civics knowledge. And they, you know, civics is all about to, to understand um, uh, about the knowledge of civics and so forth. But there are exce exception uh, for these civics tests. Ex the exemption is based on the uh, mental ability of someone, uh, the age of someone, uh, how long someone resides in the U.S. They will consider those factors to be exempted in, in a civics test. So, for more details on this, consult a uh, person who can fight for you, who uh, practice this immigration, immigration stuff to assist you with the current issue and what is going on for the proper petition of your case, for proper petition of your, 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 uh, your issues. The, the fact sometimes may differ from one person or another person or from your fact in what I explain. So, but mind you that you have to be tested on physics, civics knowledge, civics knowledge, and uh, you have to pass the civics test in order to be naturalized, to be U.S. citizenship for the alien who come from outside the U.S. Follow me for more tips, Mazura Jr., through YouTube channel. Thank you.